I think the charity will succeed and help many people in need. I think that this charity could promote the concept of giving within students. Today we're going to go around five teams that helped to build this charity and interview their members. Hello, so what you have been doing in the PR and marketing team? Uh, we've been uh, looking through social medias of uh, other schools and our school and comparing them. So for example, we've been uh, also like improving and giving ideas for the social media accounts, for example, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram of all the schools. For example, uh, for Instagram, today morning we only had seven followers, while we, me and Yusuf, for example, my t uh, teammates, we tagged the school in our Insta story, and uh, now we have 31 followers. So that's how we're trying to improve. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, uh, what you have been doing today and explain. I'm part of the research and development group and we're working on making an ex a small like museum type thing about different sections people are doing about culture, religion, and I'm personally doing about science and science and how does fasting affect the body. I can't talk specifically about what other people did, but we're basically researching further about charity. And that's it. <laughs> Uh, hi, what you have been doing today in the art team? We were designing logos and for the com for the charity. So can you show us the logo? Yes. So this logo is the one that I did, and this logo is for the what the class decided to do. Uh, okay, thank you for that. It was really interesting, it was a little bit hard, but um, first uh, find out and try and create the song for our charity and later on try and write like the words that will go right with the song. Good today and explain. Today in the finance department, we've been working on a project where we basically look at, looked at some of the poorest countries in the world. Our group researched about some of the poorest countries that are in Asia. So what we did is that we looked at statistics and percentages, like for example, the percentages of people that live in poverty or the percentages of people that go to school. And our goal is that by the end of this um, project, we have a better understanding about which countries that uh, need more help and, that, and more need.
in week two of the project, we finished all our research, we decided what we're gonna do, and then we did a clay model of the digestive system because we are the science department. And now we are starting to do our post -study. After deciding the colors, we started making the logo and the flyers. We finished both and that's it. And so after our guru presented last week, we found out that Yemen was the poorest country out of all the ones we chose. And so we created posters that are going to be displayed in the exhibit to raise awareness. Week two, we've still um, like um, kind of like experimented with Garage Band to see what instruments would go well together and um, we mainly thought about our jingles more and how we would like to make our jingles and get that done. Week two we started uh, making calls and uh, collecting donations. All we did was that we created a document that included all the financial information about our charity. And in week three, we started to, to create the exhibition by doing a blueprint for everything and going to each group and asking them what do they want, like if they have any displays that we can like display them. our posters for our exhibit and the research and development team and yeah everyone's finalizing their own exhibit checking out the exhibit space and yeah that's all they did In week four, we started, uh, we finished all the blueprints except for one, which is the clothing, like the sa uh, clothes sale blueprint. We still didn't finish that. We have to decide on where will the racks go and everything like that. And we also started doing the video, the documentary of how did we do the logo so we can put it in the exhibition. Before we started uh, sorting the donations and hanging them on the racks. So in week four, with the exhibition and the sale coming up, people have been rummaging around. And in the finest department, we are finalizing our presentations and displays. And along with making a visitor log, adding prices to clothing and all those other stuff. Thank you.